Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well today. Robert here from King's Auto Shop. Hope you guys are doing well today. Anything else? Um, <laughs> no, enjoy the video. Okay. Hey guys thanks for joining me here on the channel uh every once in a while i have an idea to change something drastic in my life uh lifting the smart car was one of those things oh next, god yeah next next project is uh well it's gonna sound kind of familiar because it's something i've done in a very similar rv except we're going to learn from the mistakes of last time and do things a little bit differently here so let me flip the camera around and show you show you the issue okay it's gonna be awesome it, it is gonna be better Opie dopey. I know you love the table, but this four person dinette here inside the RV, usually it is just my catch all. I throw stuff on the seat. I got stuff down here. I do not use this dinette, guys. I, I sit here in this chair right here and I watch TV. That's what I do. The kitties have nowhere to snuggle. They try to climb up here in my lap and there's, there's nowhere to hold them up here. Every time I get up, I got to move them. Opie just wants to cuddle. There's Tara there in the dash. She just wants to cuddle too. This dinette is really cramping my style, so um, I'm going to do what I did last time and rip it out of here. So similar to last time, it's all got to come out. Uh, it's not an easy process because there's stuff under these. You may have an RV where that's just storage under there and you can throw all your camping gear under there. For me, I'll show you. Under this cushion here is my 24 gallon water tank. I know that's not a lot, but it fills almost the entire space with about two inches to spare on top. So that's gonna get, have to get changed. Then under this one here, you can see the fuse box right there. So we've got all the power components and everything going to the inverter and the solar stuff. There's the furnace wires. There's the, the furnaces under there and the water pump is between all that as well. So that's not a storage compartment for us. So how are we gonna do this? Oh, well, let me tell you how we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to take the water tank and we're going to turn it this way. We're going to take the breaker box and we're going to put it in the middle. The furnace will be here and then we're going to... Water pump maybe behind under the fridge? The water pump's probably going to go under the fridge. Okay. And then redo all the wiring and the plumbing and then rip this false floor out. And right. then we're going to build a brand new couch. Awesome over the whole thing. So if we go back in time, maybe five or six years ago, Yoda, which was also a Tioga 24D on the Chevy chassis, I did it my way. In fact, I actually opened up that dinette cushion right there, looked at the wire and it went, oh, oh, not touching this. You can so I, show them. Okay, actually, I'll, I'll show you a little clip here. This is what we actually did. And, and as you can see, I just used it for storage. I put a little chest box on there for video game supplies and controllers, but I didn't want to mess with the wiring and everything because I didn't know how to do it. However, I did grab the water tank that was here and I extended it this way with an 80 gallon water tank and I cut off access to the front. Now, if you see this video right here, Jax and I really loved this, even though it did cut things off, we didn't have a good place to watch TV. So essentially what we're gonna be doing here is deleting this, putting a couch against the wall. The TV also gets deleted. Then if I move over here, this seat gets deleted as well. And the new TV goes here. But that's our plan, and I'm really excited about this first step. It's all in progress. We ain't started nothing yet. We're yeah. just going to have to see how, how she rolls, bud. Sometimes she don't roll. I hope she rolls. She's going to roll. By the way, I did add some new LED lights around the door frame here. Every, every it seems like every couple months I add a little bit more green to the RV. and got all these lights green, and now we've got lights around here. Looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Yeah, some of those bulbs are going out. Let's start demolition. This will be fun. Huh? This will be fun. Demolition. I'll get the saws off. All right. Break her up. All right. Well, I don't know if you can tell. It's it's dark outside. And at this point, Robert and I are just kind of doing some demolition here. Doing it a little differently than last time because we need to save all this. You know, this is the control boxes, all the power. This is the stuff that I was afraid to touch. And you can see it. it is. It looks messy to me and, and, it, and it still scares me. And that's why... Robert's here to like redo it. He's gonna like reset it up and extend cables and put it over there behind the new couch. Flip the water tank also so that all of this will be back there. 
but right now we're just we're just kind of messing around listening to some tunes i just can't play them while i'm recording and robert's robert's just ripping it apart and it's a good feeling because i want this carpet out also guys i'm really looking forward to adding lin linoleum here instead yeah huh. they only went that far and I wonder what that whole area is. Anyway, we've got water lines, another DC wire over there. Yeah, just, just, just throw it. No, just, we don't need those. We don't need those. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and call it quits for tonight on this. Uh, I do have a shopping list for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go get some supplies to start working on this to extend the water tank. Wire coming on Amazon, and we're gonna pick up some wood. I've sealed up that compartment so the kitties don't get back there overnight tonight and the furnace vents are off right now and yeah I'm gonna go take a nice long hot shower for as long as I can because we got to empty this anyway to turn it around so yeah that's the progress Opie what'd you find oh it's one of those buzzing moths get it Opie Man, let me outside and I'll, I'll get it, Dad. I'll get it, Dad. I know you will. Where's Tara? She doesn't like all the noise, huh? Tara Bear, you don't you don't like all this crazy noise, huh? I'm so sorry, honey. I'm sorry. We're done for the night, okay? Yeah, my sweet girl. We're done for tonight, okay. All right, well, we got Opie over there doing most of the work and Robert just sniffing around over there. Nothing. Hmm. Water tank's empty and propped up, trying to get the last little bit out of there. We gotta get that flipped around and kind of see how everything might fit in here. That's exciting. Opie, are you excited about having a couch with Dad? Yeah. Terra Bear, what do you think about everything? Just gonna sleep through all the work, okay. Robert, since he can do everything and he's a certified electrician. I'm certified everything. That's right. He may be able to just splice off the fuse box and uh, give me a brand new circuit. Put some Romex and some outlets at each end of the couch or one end of the couch or something. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, making some good progress here, guys. I know this is probably looks really bad, but I think it's important to show you how this goes. I, I, a lot of people, I'll, when they see the final product, they're always like, wow, Eric, that's so much better. I've done this several times. So, got the water tank switched around the other direction. We're going to be utilizing this backspace to put the new speaker that's full of cat hair. Then we got it modified auto back there. All the lines have been rerouted. Robert put in a new fill hose here from the outer. Also a new vent hose, half inch there. Also new PEX lines crimped that go across. The water pump has been moved to this location. It was right here. So water pump there, going there to the winterization stuff. Last step, Robert's gonna be doing some wiring to move the entire fuse box to sit right here uh, in front of the water pump. I will admit, this is a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. And the funny part is I've already done this before. How did I not forget that I was parked at a Walmart parking lot for a week? It took a week. Robert and I are kicking butt. He's been helping me pull all the carpet and padding out. No more carpet. I cut a line right here uh, where the linoleum ends. But there's a lot of cleanup, a lot of staples to pull out from the carpet. There's st I'm standing on sticky stuff from where the linoleum went and the carpet was over. And right now, Robert's going to get something to cut the bolts to get this chair out of here so that we can finish. Or see if we'll get lucky and they'll come out with a socket. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. See those bolts on the floor, eventually this whole thing has to come out, but yeah. the chair is really kind of in the way right now as this far as... The, this is what I've seen underneath. Oh, those two front ones? I didn't see those. I seen... I think... I don't know. I didn't see them. Maybe I didn't see them. Alright, the chair's out. And that really opened up the room. Still got to get this uh, frame out, which if you remember in Yoda, I didn't remove it. <laughs> I just built a platform to hold the litter box. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try an impact drill gun yeah. and see if we can get lucky, because you can't get at all the bolts underneath. There's a layer of something. So, what do you think, Opie? We got that big clunky chair out that only one person fits in and you can't sit in my lap when I'm in it because there's no room. She gone. Robert was able to get under there a little tricky between the propane tank. We do have these two bolts to cut off. I'm going to get the rest of the staples out, clear the surface tonight. And then tomorrow, 
as part of this video, we'll go shopping for a new floor. All right, we're here at Home Depot, finally, looking at the uh, peel and stick laminate flooring options. I did bring a, a sample of the linoleum that's in the rest of the, this would be like the kitchen and the bathroom. So now I've got to decide, do we want to transition to a darker color that hides some of the dirt and cat hair? like something much much darker or do we want to try to match it and have a nice little transition so because i was looking at this white maple which looks like like planks and uh i mean that wouldn't be a terrible transition from the kitchen to the living room or do we want to do something much much darker in the living room to change you know i don't know i'm not an interior designer <laughs> see what they got in stock first all right, we found new step molding. Uh, Robert, the ele electrician, is gonna add me some outlets near the couch, so we're getting a, a double 15 amp breaker because we got room for just that in the fuse box, and the water tank needs a one quarter inch plug in the top. Well, we got back just in time. Can you guys hear the hail? It is storming outside in Missouri. Look at the hood with the hail. Yikes, Tara. Yeah, oh. Robert's uh, starting on the flooring in here, which I'm really excited about. It's going to look really good. It's going together really nice in here. What happened to your finger? <laughs> knives are sharp. <laughs> yeah, knives are sharp. By the way, the stuff we're using, we got at Home Depot. Uh, same stuff I made a video on maybe five, six years ago. Traffic Master Peel and Stick. Uh, 12 inch by 12 inch squares and they go down pretty easy they're pretty easy to cut and kind of make your corners we've got molding to go around the edge and everything but you know really when you look at them up close there are some that we can't use that were they had at home depot that say you have to keep it between 62 and 78 degrees and it's just not possible in an rv with climate changes and freezing and heating so this is uh what we're using i think it's about 60 bucks a case for 30 tiles or 30 square feet. So I bought two just in case we need more later stuff. And uh, it's gonna totally change this. Watching some Simpsons too in the background. Heck yeah. Thanks Robert, this is going really good. This is looking real good. All right, how's that look, Opie? <laughs> I am really, really liking the gray color. It, it surprisingly matches a lot in here. I do apologize for the mess, but you know, again, hear my uh, vision here. So I've been kind of prepping the floor while Robert's been putting down the panels and everything, making the cuts along everything. And then Robert rewired the control box. So we actually uh, had a hole coming up right here from under here and here, and the water was under there. And he has now rerouted everything over here. This is where the couch is going to be, okay? So, the furnace is going to have two ports coming out the edge of the couch right there. The armrests with hopefully some uh, outlets and USB cords. In order to access this, I'll show you actually, uh, the old furnace grate is going to be on the front of the couch here so that you can still access the fuse box by taking out four easy screws there and giving air to the furnace to use it. Um, so yeah, it, the, the dream is coming alive. This is going to be one custom party zone here in the front that is going to make so much more sense of course i got the chair there just for now but that won't be there it'll be a tv and maybe a little entertainment center or something you like that idea opie more more snuggle room on the couch yeah tear bear i haven't forgotten about you girlfriend we're gonna take care of the girl you're gonna nuzzle everything <laughs> all right sweet girl all right <laughs> Weird sitting in a camping chair here in the corner corner of my RV. This is coming along nicely. This is about as fast as I could have dreamed of this all coming together, and it's gonna be done right the first time, which is so cool. Ah, oh, remodeling an RV sucks, but guys, please stay with me. Give me a couple more days, we'll get back, we'll get this cleaned up, we're gonna build this custom cap. Please, it's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye. Oh,